into uh, into Lose's bracket the uh, the way that they did against Mr. Zircon, having to go through the gamut. 2-0 against Sensei. Then 2-1 against Beast. And then 2-1 against Web JP. They have been through some stuff in order to be here. Both of those matchups could be considered worthy of grand finals. And now you've got to face off against Rivers. You are truly running the gauntlet if you are Utopian Ray. Koopa, how much can this bear possibly have left in the tank? Ah, uh, enough. You know, he definitely has an infinite amount of bird in his backpack. So we'll see how it, uh, it shakes out here. Obviously, uh, these two have played offline before uh, at that event that shall not, shall not be named, that it hasn't paid anybody, uh, James beat uh, Utopian Ray. Uh, but I believe Ray was pr primarily playing Palutena and maybe a couple of games of uh, Banjo. Oh, is this Psycho Soldier? This one fucking rocks. Excuse my language, but my God, it's so good. <laughs> I don't blame you. Uh, I mean, what am I going to do? Hold that against you? But yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm kind of feeling it too, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, no, this is a great song. But right now, it is Rivers with the lead right now. The monkey flip still not enough to say uh, curtains for Banjo. You know this uh, this banjo's kind of kind of swagging right now. Can be yeah, RFA right. in a very rare matchup. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> Rivers comes out uh, with that first stock right there. Oh, and yeah, here we go with uh, that Wonder Wing. Maybe just a little too flippant, trying to get this stock off of Rivers as soon as possible, but what was the lesson that Nomex learned just now? You try to get desperate to take that stock and try to even up the score? Rivers has been punishing that uh, since uh, forever, I think, is the time span that I was thinking of, Koopa. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, you know, Rivers also does play a bit of banjo on the side as well, so I, I think he's very comfortable playing against this character. So, you know, right, right now, it, it looks like he's he's pretty comfortable right now. He's doing a good job getting around the projectiles of Banjo uh, while also uh, making sure to always have his own projectile nearby. Also getting a ton of mileage out of Monkey Flip. And now there you go. That's two stocks apiece now, but still a significant advantage for Rivers. Utopian Ray, not exactly their first rodeo against, uh, against Rivers, but... Still, I can't imagine that it's a positive win-loss record necessarily. As good as Utopian Ray certainly has proven to be. Right, absolutely. So, right now it is Ray once again on the back end of things. You know, Rivers is going to opt to you know throw his own projectiles, both of peanuts and banana. Yeah, and now is this so many projectiles flying around here. More explosions than a Michael Bay film. And now, as the grenade trying to establish itself, doing a decent job of at least piling on the damage, but you're still not shortening the gap. These, uh, This is Rivers doing a good job of trading potential uh, neutral interaction wins from Utopian Ray into trades, and you know, that's always going to benefit the person in the lead. Yeah, no, absolutely. Right now, uh, despite the fact that you know Rivers does have the percent lead, Utopian Ray is doing a great job keeping it close. And we've seen how strong uh, those uh, murderous blows from uh, from Banjo can be. So the Rivers definitely has to be on alert here. The more I listen to this song, the more I think it sounds a little bit like the uh, like the Tiger Mask theme. Uh, <laughs> for those for those of you who like really old anime. Yeah, Tiger Mask. Yeah, that probably uh, ooh, that probably back. Or wrestling, but uh, shout out to Tiger Mask. What was, what was the? There's some old show that like used uh, they use Iran by Rush as like a uh, as an anime opening in like America at least. Wait, yeah. you mean a flock of seagulls? Yes, that's what I meant. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I, I would know if Rush covered something. Believe me. That's yeah, great. that's right. Well, that's right. my that's my favorite band of all time, bro. But. Uh, but yeah, Flock of Seagulls, I think you're right. I just can't remember. Oh, there is a match going on, uh, and it's actually a particularly good one. So let's focus on that. Utopian Ray actually getting the lead now, having closed the gap on Rivers. And Final Destination proving to pay its dividends. And 
The grenade has been grabbed, but it's going to explode right Ow. in the face of Rivers, as will that last stock. Utopian Ray bringing it back and taking it to 1-0. Banjo, talk to him. There you go. <laughs> it's so good, man. I love doing that. It gets me It gets me every time. Also, it was Knights of the Zodiac that had a, a Flock of Seagulls song as their anime opening in America. So, Did it actually? Yeah, it was weird. Oh, that... See, that is weird, but then again, you'll just have anime picking straight up pop songs for their uh, for their opening, and we don't recognize them as pop songs. They're just like, oh, it's the opening for an anime. But I was actually a Tsukima Switch fan for a long time, and I only learned through them that they wound up doing the opening to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood because I never watched it. Oh, so, wow. How about that? Yeah. I don't know. It's uh, that, That's... That's probably the most hipster thing you'll ever hear me say, so enjoy it. Anyway, back to FD for game number two. River is deciding that that could have gone a lot better, and I'm not inclined to disagree with them, Koopa, but at the same time, do you think this is wise? Uh, I don't think it's an awful idea. I think it was one of those things where Rivers probably just needed to maybe slow things down a little bit more. Um, I don't think it was the stage that killed him. I think it was like, okay, I just got beat. Like, it is what it is. Going with the big blue theme here, by the way. Shout out to any time F Zero music appears on stream. So, yeah, I love that new feature that like any song can play on FD and uh, and Battlefield now. That is and, a welcome change. Yeah, so I don't have to pick. Uh, so I don't have to pick more eight towers in order to hear my yeah. uh, Splatoon music. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, it, uh, please add Octo Expansion music already. Anyway, it's going to be a drop down uh, Nair that's going to provide results for Rivers in this particular instance, trying to get them back into uh, into an advantageous state. But yeah, right now an ever so slight lead for Rivers. This has been back and forth the entire time, but it's going to be the advantage over to someone who has the high ground in the swashbuckling tradition. Rivers swinging their sword or tail or banana whatever the case may be rivers is swinging it yeah no he's looking uh, awfully comfortable right now for sure and it's getting a lot of longevity out of the stock of river uh you know poor uh ray just having a rough time getting this stock off it's going to be a <laughs> back throw just <laughs> I want to look you in the eyes. Oh, you know, like, your last moments. <laughs> so good. <goofy. laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop uh, before I. I mean, go. He's literally goofy. Like, no, you're, you're not wrong. Yeah. Like, hi, you diddy. Um, <laughs> That just reminded me of the, uh, what was it, like, Goofy must choose between his friend and his country. Yeah. If you remember that. <laughs> if you remember that uh, piece of internet history. Oh, man. Uh, right now, it is Rivers. It's the end of the war, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'll get to so see Maxie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. 2-2, we're going off the rails, but speaking of going off the rails, uh, Utopian Ray on that second stock, perhaps just letting the situation get the better of them. River is able to take full advantage. Ooh, I see Wonder Ring though to even things up, so just like that, you know, River's not able to extend his lead uh, super far, and it'll be an even uh, stock game here as you know, one game, more game for Utopian Ray, and that's going to be him advancing on a loser's final. Uh, Rivers, unfortunately, are rough in this advantage right there. Yeah, they are more than comfortable with the situation they are in right now. And even though it's at 1-1, one one, very winnable situation here for Utopia and Ray. I mean, yeah, obviously. They have the lead and the Wonder Wing right out of nowhere. You can never fully expect it, but Utopia and Ray, 2-0. Yeah, yeah I go. agree. Couldn't have said it better myself, Banjo, as uh, Utopian Ray has dethroned uh, has dethroned uh, Rivers in back to winning a thrice DNA. And uh, he'll be moving on to Losers Finals to uh, square up against uh, Life. Yeah, that's who it was. 
Yeah, and uh, you're talking about individuals. He came so close to the three-peat, but it was simply not meant to be. Utopian Ray taking it 2-0. That banjo proving to be just a little too brutal. And now Utopian Ray still not done with this absolute killer of a uh, loser's bracket. So thus far, Utopian Ray, let's just recap this, Koopa, has, was dropped down by Mr. Zircon. Uh, who now sits in Grand Finals. And in Luce's side, Utopian Ray, in order to get their revenge on Zircon, has had to beat Sensei, and did so. Beast, WebJP, and Rivers. These are three Wi-Fi Warrior-ranked individuals that Utopian Ray has taken out with their banjo. I don't think I saw the 2-0 coming, to be quite frank, Koopa. But now you're having to go on against Lights. Yeah. This is someone who has taken multiple, you know, multiple, multiple tournaments, weeklies and certainly uh, invitationals, monthlies, whatever you want to call them. The, this guy is no joke. And speaking of uh, someone who's almost taken uh, a three-peat here at DNA, Lights winning back-to-back -back tournaments at the very start of this season. This yeah. person is a threat to win literally every tournament they enter and now Utopian Ray, after going through all this quality competition, has to face off against the number 10 ranked player on Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's definitely a tall order, man, especially for someone that doesn't enter a lot of Wi-Fi tournaments uh, like Ray does. But hey, even to get this far, you know, it's definitely a, a feat of how good of a player he is, man. You know, uh, it's definitely an adjustment for all of us when you're in these uh, offline and uh, online environments and stuff like that, so... You know, hopefully he has enough left in the tank. And, uh, you know, we'll probably going to be in for a good one, my friend.